kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part two of my video series on Camera Two API using Android Studio. Alright, guys. So from there we will continue from where we had left. So here we were in the take picture method, and before that we need to fix this this uh, uh, texture listener. We need to specify that. So for that we can specify our uh, texture listener. So here we can have we can use the texture view dot surface texture listener and here we have this texture listener equal to new texture view surface listener and there you can see we have a couple of methods here and let's say we have the method on surface texture available and also a lot of other other methods so here inside our own surface uh, texture available method here we will uh, specify the method to open our camera so here i write open camera all right then we will create this method and what this will do is we will try to now try to open the camera all right so here we uh, inside this we first of all need to uh, specify the camera manager we need to uh, uh, get access to it and then we will try to uh, set the image dimensions and many other things all right so let's have say we have the camera manager of make sure that you have this android dot hardware dot camera to api okay so we can use the camera manager and we name it as manager equal to camera manager and here we can say get system service and here we can specify context dot camera surface all right then here we have we can say camera id we can fetch it by using manager dot get camera id list and here it is saying that we need to have the exception but before that we need to use zero for the rear camera and here we can have the camera exception and still it is saying me an error okay so it will be here like this these brace uh, these brackets will be used okay so we have got the camera id so now we can uh, get the properties of the camera by using this camera id so for the properties we can say camera characteristics characteristics equal to manager dot get camera characteristics and here we will provide the camera id okay so now we have got the camera characteristics so now we need to uh, specify the parameters for that so first of all we can use the stream configuration map so we can say stream configuration map these are the parameters class and we name it as map equal to characteristics and we can say dot get and inside this we can say camera characteristics uh, dot scalar stream uh, stream uh, configuration map all right and after we have uh, got this map then we can now uh, specify our image dimension so we can say image dimension equal to map dot get output sizes and inside this we can specify the surface texture dot class 
and here we have the zero index and here I uh, now I need to use if then we now need to uh, check if the user has granted the permissions or not alright then here we can say if activity compact dot check self uh, permission and for this we can use this then manifest dot permission dot camera is not equal to package manager dot permission alright then here we can say is not uh, permission granted and we can say activity compare dot check self permission and here we can pass this and we can say manifest dot permission dot write external uh, storage and if we can say is not equal to package manager dot permission granted then inside this uh, what we can say and we can request for the user permission so we can say activity compare dot request permissions and there we will uh, specify our class so we can say main activity dot this then we have new string and here we can specify the uh, permission so for that we can say manifest dot permission dot camera uh, and semicolon or I mean uh, comma then we can say manifest dot permission dot write external storage and we need to specify some variables so we say 101 alright now there is still an error so it is saying that we need to handle the exception open uh, camera alright then after this uh, we can specify return then we can say manager dot open camera and there first of all we will specify the camera id then we need to specify the state callback 
so first of all for the camera id we can specify the id and for the state uh, we need to have another callback all right and final it will be null all right then now for this uh, state callback we need to okay so now we need to create this state uh, this state callback so for this the callback let me specify it here okay guys so i think uh, that is enough for this video if you guys like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye